<laughs> and why is he holding 25% off discount for a personal trainer? <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if he feels the same way. See, that's a problem. The fact that you don't know if he feels the same way tells me that he doesn't feel the same way. You want to know why? Because your body knows things that your mind doesn't. Your body doesn't, doesn't suppress emotions. Your mind does. Your body knows what, the truth of the situation. It's just like your, your conscious mind is so afraid of pain that is blocking you from receiving that signal that, you, that your brain is telling you. And, you know, and it's like, like I said, if you don't know if they like you, it means they don't like you. <laughs> you know, the body talks to you in, the, in sensations. Your body, there's no inner voice that said, hey, dude, you know, he's playing you. No, the way that the body sends a signal is through a sensation. It's like a dog, right? Dogs have their own language. Dogs show you they like you by by not biting you, I guess. No, they show you. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. That's what you know. Okay, okay. Um, you know, dogs show you they like you by licking your face and all that kind of stuff. And that's their way. They don't just say, hey, I like you. You don't see owners say, oh, my God, I, my dog don't like me because he doesn't say I like you. No. It's the same way with people. It's a sensation, right? That's the body's way of communicating. When you're, when, when something's wrong, you feel pain, right? When, when something's off, you feel sensations. And the way that it works is this. For example, one of the ways that your body communicates to you that, that you should stop doing that, that whatever you're putting in your body, like emotionally, like a drug, for example, that it communicates to you that you need to observe it, that you need to feel emotions, you wanna know how? Through the sensation of feeling empty. The feeling of feeling empty is a real sensation. The empty is the emptiness that you feel is your body's way of saying, hey, can you do nothing else? Can you just chill out? Can you just observe me? And every five year of your being is saying, don't look away. But what happens is that when you observe that feeling, I, I at least with me, it, there is a releasing quality. There is a Re, like a like a letting go sensation and if you keep observing it that feeling will turn into peace but if you don't observe it if you keep looking away by taking drugs by getting validation by by doing anything that distracts you from that feeling it becomes numb and it becomes a point where it becomes it feels empty like that where a sense the the sensation inside feels empty the little thing that you have inside of you that allows you to feel emotion becomes desensitized to feelings and that sensation is a signal that you need to stop doing something it's a signal not to put more stimulation but to put less and let it recover right so when people observe that they don't know the verb the language of the body so they misinterpret it as more drugs as more sensation as more validation but when you begin to observe your body observe it through meditation you begin to to get to know its language and all of a sudden you become more self-aware and that self-awareness leads to more control over yourself. You know, and it's like, like I said, if you don't know if they like you, it means they don't like you. <laughs> you know, the body talks to you in, the, in sensations. Your body, there's no inner voice that said, hey, dude, you know, he's playing you. No, the way that the body sends a signal is through a sensation. It's like a dog, right? Dogs have their own language. Dogs show you they like you by, by not biting you, I guess. No, they show you. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. That's what you know. Okay, okay. Um, you know, dogs show you they like you by licking your face and all that kind of stuff. And that's their way. They don't just say, hey, I like you. You don't see owners say, oh, my God, I, my dog don't like me because he doesn't say I like you. No. It's the same way with people. It's a sensation, right? That's the body's way of communicating. When you're, when, when something's wrong, you feel pain, right? When, when something's off, you feel sensations. And the way that it works is this. For example, one of the ways that your body communicates to you that that you should stop doing that that whatever you're putting in your body like emotionally like a drug for example that it communicates to you that you need to observe it that you need to feel emotions you want to know how through the sensation of feeling empty the feeling of feeling empty is a real sensation the empty is the emptiness that you feel is your body's way of saying hey can you do nothing else can you just chill out can you just observe me and every five year of your being is saying don't look away but what happens is that when you observe that feeling i, I at least with me it there is a releasing quality there is a re, like a like a letting go sensation and if you keep observing it that feeling will turn into peace 
But if you don't observe it, if you keep looking away by taking drugs, by getting validation, by, by doing anything that distracts you from that feeling, it becomes numb. And it becomes a point where it becomes, it feels empty. Like the, where it's, the, the sensation inside feels empty. The little thing that you have inside of you that allows you to feel emotion becomes desensitized to feelings. And that sensation is a signal that you need to stop doing something. It's a signal not to put more stimulation, but to put less and let it recover, right? So when people observe that, they don't know the verb, the language of the body. So they misinterpret it as more drugs, as more sensation, as more validation. But when you begin to observe your body, observe it through meditation, you begin to, ob to get to know its language. And all of a sudden you become more self-aware. And that self-awareness leads to more control over yourself. All right, people, if you guys enjoy that type of content, if you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, and you guys have some situations you guys want me to answer, um, maybe somebody's playing you, maybe somebody doesn't like you, maybe you want to make somebody like you, maybe you want to tell me your situation and, and see what I think, you guys can click on the description down below and purchase a one-on-one -on -one phone coaching call with me that is completely um, confidential and nobody knows about it. And they are be able to give you my personal opinion about your situation. And at the end of the day, when you work with me, you're gonna get answers, all right? The point is, is that you're not gonna waste your time. Um, if you guys wanna do that, click on the description down below. That's the, that's, those are the one-on-one -on -one private confidential phone calls. And if you guys wanna be able to, for me to answer your questions, like you see in my videos where I answer questions, you guys can book an email coaching session, which is more affordable, and you guys can change things around and nobody will know it's you, and there you'll be able to get a one-on-one -on -one um, type of coaching, um, and I'll be able to post it on YouTube, and the beauty about it is that nobody finds out because you could just change your name, people. You say you're in China, I'm gonna say you're in Australia. Nobody's gonna find out, people. Now, I wanna make it clear. The private one-on-one -on -one phone call are private, confidential. The email coaching calls, as you guys can see, are things that I post on YouTube. They're more affordable, and they let me post a video on it. As long as you change things around, nobody will know it's you. So don't be shy, man. I love working with people, and, uh, and at the end of the day, it's my passion to help people. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me to be able to help you guys at an, at an individual basis. And at the end of the day, you're gonna get my honest advice. A lot of people bullshit you just to bring you back as a customer. If you guys are looking for that honest advice, this is the guy for you, okay? Okay, see you guys.